Hello, I'm Christopher, and welcome to the Cabin Boy Knits Woolcast. This episode is all about the rhubarb. When you think about natural dyeing and you think about rhubarb, you think about the roots. But I'm not going to be talking about the roots at all today. This is all about the leaf. We're going to be using the leaf to make a mordant. And so some of you may be thinking, you're crazy, there's oxalic acid in the leaves and you shouldn't be touching it because it's poisonous. There's actually oxalic acid in spinach, in the rhubarb stock they're eating, and I'd really have to eat about 11 pounds of this in order for it to be fatal. But for our purposes for Mordant, it, it's great. We're going to be using a ratio of, if I have two pounds of wool, one pound of le leaves. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we need, we need a pot, and this pot is a pot that we use exclusively for natural dyeing. We do not cook food in this pot. So it's exclusive, it's only for natural dyeing. We'll need a water source, so I'm gonna be using rainwater today for, for this, and then I've got my rhubarb. So what I'll be doing is I'm cutting the stalks off and I'll be only using the leaves. And then you'll need a heat source. So I've got my um, heat top right here and I'll be putting it on there and I will be letting it sit for about an hour. I'll be letting it simmer for at least an hour. So let's get started. I've got my pot, I've got some water. So I'm gonna put the rain water in here. You can use any type of water you want. And then it's time for the leaves. So what I like to do is I cut the stem off and then I will start cutting this up into pieces. You can also use gloves if you want to. Uh, I will be washing my hands right after this. I have my leaves in here, I've got my water in here, I'm going to put it on and let it simmer for at least an hour and then I'll come back and check it. And you can take these and you can chop them up and you can either freeze them if you want to or and make something great out of it. There's a lot of wonderful recipes on the internet, uh, rhubarb crisp and all kinds of great things. I love, I love the taste of, of rhubarb, it's fantastic. I'd also suggest that if you've got leaves and you've just got too many of them, rhubarb leaves, you can put them in the freezer. I put mine in the freezer. So I, I harvest all of the leaves I can. I chop them up and I put them in the freezer and, and let, leave them. And I've used frozen rhubarb in the past and it comes up beautifully. So again, you know, put it in the freezer. Don't be afraid to put it in the freezer. Wrap it up in a bag and mark it um, so that you don't get it confused with, with other things. Okay, it's time to strain it. I have an old pasta strainer and I put cheesecloth on top of it and elastic around it just so I want to be extra careful just to make sure that I don't have any of the leaves coming in because sometimes what happens is they break up when they're during the simmering process. So start pouring this into the bucket. Okay, now that we have it strained, it is time to put it into the, the jars. One thing that you'll notice is that I was doing this outside. It's important to have a lot of ventilation when you are boiling rhubarb leaves. I would highly encourage you to do it outside. If you're going to do it indoors, make sure that's well ventilated and you've got the windows open. Also, make sure that you mark these when you put them in your fridge. So 
So there you have it, taking the rhubarb leaves and making mordant out of it. I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and leave them there until I'm ready to use them. But it's very, very important to, to label them. Make sure that you've got it labeled because you don't want anybody drinking these things. So just to recap what we did, we had rhubarb. We had rhubarb leaves and we had about a pound of rhubarb leaves for two pounds of fiber. We also needed to get a pot and this pot is only one that's used for natural dyeing. Do not use any that are used for cooking. So we took a pot. We also needed a heat source. And so I put it on, I'm outdoors, and I put it on an element to heat it up. And again, it's important to be have well a well-ventilated area. Outside is perfect if you can do it there. If you're inside, make sure that you it's well ventilated and you've got the windows open. And then we needed a water source. So I used rainwater, you can use well water, you can use city tap water, anything you have accessible to you. So we fill up the pot with water, and then we add our rhubarb leaves, and we let it simmer for an hour. I went to check on it, and then I let it simmer for another hour, and then I turned the heat off, and I let it sit for half an hour before straining. So that's two and a half hours. And then I started to, I strained it, and then I put it in some mason jars. The mason jars are full, they're gonna be labeled, clearly labeled and I'll put them in the refrigerator. If you don't put them in the refrigerator and they're not sealed properly, you can get mold in them. If you're gonna use them uh, right away or sh shortly after canning, then I would suggest that's okay, but I, I like to put them in the refrigerator. And so they're sitting in the refrigerator uh, until I use them. Just to go back to the rhubarb, you can use fresh rhubarb or you can use frozen rhubarb. If you're gonna use frozen rhubarb, when you're cutting it up, Make sure you put it in a bag and make sure that bag is well labeled so it's not confused with Swiss chard or anything else. So that's it. Pretty simple. And I know I'm going to get questions on what does the yarn look like when it comes out of a mordant, out of this mordant in particular. And so I will post a picture of that so that you can see it for yourself and you can be the judge of whether or not that color changed at all. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please fire them off. I love reading your questions. I love answering your questions. And remember, if you see rhubarb leaves there, don't just throw them out. They can be an excellent source for a mordant, and they're a great aid in, in natural dyeing. Take care, everyone, and have a fantastic week.